Okay, now that I figured out what the issue was, it was uh, this. While it's accepting for the code, it's accepting four byte words. The code size is supposed to be the actual just pure byte size, so it would have been this type times four. Instead, I kept giving it the value of two hundred instead of the proper uh, eight hundred value. So now that that is correct, or fixed up for the moment, anyways. All right. Unless I'm just talking, about, no, 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 it's it's working. Okay. We have that. We have it loading the binary of this. Anyways, uh, I need a fragment shader as well, actually. Uh, version four fifty. Um, actually, I don't need to do this. I don't need quite all of that. Rather, what I can do is probably, okay, back two of three, right? I can do this. I don't need to necessarily pass these in quite yet. Let's say 1.0, Something like that should work. Hmm. Okay, um, it'll be text array dot x y. What's gl pervert x? No, that's gl position. No, vertex index. Um, and that change it to out color, which will just be a mixture of these. Array? No, it's not this. It's not this. It's, not, it's something here. Oh yes, uh, zero point zero. Only gave it three uh, for, out of four, right? Uh, expecting comma or semicolon? Vec for this. Is that it? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, that's that. Um, location equals zero. And effect two and color. Um, First uh, output and it's got four and fragment color. Let's see if that second one will come in as well. Where is 
Oh, not reference count. It needs to be uh, use count. This, we load it, it's not empty, it's, I don't know what size it is, it's large. Oh yeah, I changed this to standard byte as well. Code size, if large, ish. Okay, it loads fine. At the end, yeah, they're not destroyed yet. That's fine. We have the shaders. Now I need to kind of, um, okay, what was the earlier thing I was doing? I have the vertex descriptor here. I have the fragment descriptor here. Create okay. Under pass at the shader pool. Pipeline pool. The momentary vert. Um. Oh boy. these again this is probably something these are things that really should be up in here These guys. I include. Graphics. Yeah, I can. I still think I can read. Shader vertex. No pointers.
Let's see what's going to blow up right now. Uh, full pipeline pool, because I don't actually... What is test? Test is the shader pool. Got that, we got that, we got that. We're incrementing them to load them. What else did I need for the pipeline pool? To create a pipeline, I needed these guys right in the past, but okay. Which I can, I can only really get when I'm in here. And by in here, I mean down here. Get pipeline where we have these guys. We're going to, have to do the render pass, sub pass of zero. Scripture set layout counts. Not that I'm really using that quite yet. So, look, come on, get away. There we go. And that. And that. And that. Now we need to change that back over to using the actual type. Okay. Throw that in. Oh. There, and then we're going to do the same thing here. Okay. Now we need to create the pipeline using what well, is currently only the two. Shaders. Hmm. Not, hmm. Okay. Okay, success, we have basically these guys. I don't want to necessarily put them into the pointers. I don't want to touch the pointers until I'm actually sure that I have everything correctly here. At which point then I'll uh, set it. Like with the, um, actually, I don't have an example yet. 
but they will be soon. Now, for the time being, I don't think there's actually a layout It'd be empty, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have some infrastructure in place for it, though. We'll have these guys, descriptor set layouts, we'll fill them in. Then we'll uh, use them in the VK. Out create info. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Layout create info. So layout count equals dot um, p layouts. Ah, uh, you went thirty two. Set layouts. Yes. So we do that. Um, what else? Missing shaders. Push constants. Mm, push constants. <laughs> Oi. Hmm. Okay, I don't yeah sure how to do that one yet. Res equals okay, create yeah. have a, we have do have a device locally. that like that if we failed then we go here if res case success then we'd say okay we need to if we need to delete things that we created but uh, can't use for whatever reason It's just really those two, isn't it? If Else, if it was successful, 
then we'll be doing like um, star p pipeline with pipeline star p pipeline layout equals pipeline layout equals descriptor set layout count. Whoop. Yeah, that. Oh yes, yes, that's right. Um, this would become it, wouldn't it? Now pipeline. Um, oh yeah, I need a bunch of information for this, don't I? Okay, well let's start with fix pipeline. Um, I don't have one. No, ca no cash yet. Doing one at a time. Graphics by playing create info. Um, pipeline, let's modify this. That's always null pointer to begin with. Like that. And we're gonna have like, um, Shader stages. Shader is uh, vector. I mean, who cares? It's a very exceedingly rare. If P ver uh, vertex, come on, you. What? Why? Why, why is it failing? Is it something I did or said or what? No declaration matches that, really. You're right. You happy? Now we're down here instead. M vertex, nautical, no. Then we're adding a new entry of this type. Uh, 
initiator stage creation, create info. Stage for the, um, what's it? M vertex equals shader stage mm, vertex bit. Just that one. Get the module out of that. And she name was always going to be name. I'll make sure of it. So that's that. Stage fragment bit. Okay, uh, we need a couple more for vertex tessellation geometry. Tessellation control. Evaluation. Geometry. Okay. Da, 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 da. So that's shader stage. Items. Okay, so that let's get the let's just get a copy of this up here. Do 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 VK graphics. So stage count. Stages Okay. Nope, oh, get out of one. Okay. Um vertex it put uh, it's tessellation. Hmm. Okay, we've got a bunch of things. Then we can do a dot layout. Base pipeline? I don't even know what that is. Um, yeah, I really don't. Let's bring that down to the other nomenclature. Lowercase subpass. Okay, in here we cannot pass. Okay, um, 
Need a bunch more information here. I need shader, uh, not shaders, vertex input, assembly, tessellation, viewport, rasterization info, and oh, okay. Is it really a part of this, though? Yeah, it would be. Yeah, because uh, input assembly and state depends on or is interdependent with the vertex shader. Like the number of vertices, the layout, well, the layout, not so much. The state... You know. Yeah, okay, we'll, do, we'll, we'll just... We'll just... I don't know. Okay, yeah, I'm going to need some stuff. Wait, a vector of, do we need, what was this? Oh, it's just above. Where is it? Okay. For binding and put attributes. one of these and print it out or yeah because this is a non-moving object will it probably be we'll update it I think State create info. What's the other one? Put assembly. This does not require no. See, yeah, that we can just do this, and then there's tessellation info. This will be optional. But it's only if we have a tessellation controller or evaluation shader. Hmm.
Okay. So I'll take care of uh, some of these things. Hmm. Yeah, P tessellation state. And then we'll have a uh function. Uh, what? Can I write um, const? Yeah, okay, there we go. Get that, which can return null pointer if it doesn't exist. Viewport raster, okay, rasterization. Okay, no viewport would not be part of either, would it? It'd be part of something else. It'd be neutral ground. But I, no, because I'd make it dynamic, wouldn't I? Hmm. Okay. Viewport. 
these. And then we're instead going to just have them both be done by as uh, dynamic. For the moment, it's just an array. That's a lot more dynamic state than I remember. Scissor. Oh, there's no um, ray type. Damn. Okay. Um, that'll leave. Viewport. You know what? Just no. Just trying to segment it, just it's messing with my mind. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Python dynamic state create info. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> That, oh, because it's an array, it's going to compile down to the type. So don't actually have to worry about it there. Um, good, 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 good. Dynamic state. You've got the viewport state. Now we need the rasterization, depth stencil, color blend. Um. Okay, rasterization adds basically fully in the domain of the fragment descriptor. I guess it'll always be attached for the moment. Um, multi sample state will just have as a constant for the moment. 
Okay, let's just move this out of the shader stage area. Shader stages. We're only doing one to one right now. Not gonna really. No, that's just all null pointer. No, if it's in a, if it's disabled. <sighs> None of these will have any effect, anyways. Stencil. Um, these are basically both fragment. Um, at least depth stencil is color blend. Not hmm. Hmm. Okay. Depth stencil really does depend on fragment stuff. In there for the moment. Yeah, this will be part of the fragment again, but it'll be like, ooh, yeah. It'll be based on the number of attachments we have. So this is an interesting one. So this, yeah, yeah. I will have a vector of these guys.
How is this an error? SCI state. So that's everything all together. Let's um, do a bit of a not const because it can change but that's const we'll just make sure that we update it just in case this thing is moving around This is janky. This is this is temporary. This is temporary. So I'm willing to allow it for the moment. I just spin everything up still. Fifty minutes. Okay. Put that in instead. And I'll need to do the same thing on the rasterization or tessellation. Which one was it? Vertex, right? Turn that uh, audio off. I don't want to get any work emails right now, please. Okay. Well, at least all the work stuff's going okay. Uh, back to this. This is all super sketchy and shaky. Why would I do this to myself? Because I have to. I have to. Okay. I have a whole bunch of stuff for a pipeline. 
Okay. Uh, not everything, but a good portion. Okay. Let's um let's see how terrifying this is going to be. Let's get a pipeline. First time there'll be nothing to actually get. Perfect. It failed right out of the gate. Why? Does it need at least one layout? There's no information down here. Service must be uh, Let's stick this in the spec and see what is going horrifyingly wrong. Okay, this is a whole bunch of... No, it can be zero. Wait. Ah, M device. I never initialized it. I'm looking in the wrong area. That's why. Um, okay, where do we do render pass pool? We'll do it there. So next we'll do shader pool. No, oh, we already got it up there. Let's see if we can sneak it down here instead. Then we can do the same thing for the shader pool, which is before pipeline pool. Do that. Okay, let's go all the way back to the creating of the layout. Should succeed with having nothing. Right? And yes, it does. Okay, 
of the more interesting part. Uh, we do have vertex, so it does add it to the list. I believe that's the module. We'll just assume it is. We don't have any of these other guys. We have a fragment. Which is this other one instead. Okay. Ah, lovely bunch of yes, because I didn't uh, I didn't actually specify anything. Um, of course, of course, absolutely, of course. Okay, we'll just have to set some stuff here, I suppose. That's empty, that's empty, which means this Actually, have any of these guys? So we'll just say s type equals that and leave it at that. Input uh, state, it's um, No tessellation. Fragment. Now for fragment. Hmm. Water. 
not quite rasterization state create info. Polygon fill. I'm not going to color anything. Front face doesn't matter for not even culling. Depth bias enable line width doesn't matter. What was the other one? Depth stencil. I don't even think I have anything. No, I don't. That's an optional one if we have a depth or stencil buffer attached. Okay, color blend though is something that is required since I do have at least one. So not blending. So we don't want to use any of these, but we do use the color right mask. All right. Yeah, we still need the color right mask. Color component. Just need some more, so it doesn't mean. Okay. G. And A. Okay. Okay, got all that extra goody stuff in. Let's see what I'm missing. Let's go to this point, let's see what's in here. Uh, do we whoop, get out of the way? Pipeline tessellation is null pointer, that's good. We have basically everything else. Two stage. Okay, what's wrong? Now, two things, uh, color blend state. Let me hold on. Color blend state.
P next wait. What? Uh, there's no P next on this guy. There's no attachment state. Is it this guy? Is, is this the guy we're talking about? Um, no, it's fragment. He's all filled with stuff. He's all filled with garbage. that then he'll be set he'll be emptied out he'll be filled with the attachment states just before mm -hmm. one more thing Unwood state is static. Okay, line width must be zero. Okay, I'm not, yes. May not be using it, but it needs to be. Or it needs to be one. Okay, I know of a pipeline. It's time to see if there's anything else I need to do around this pipeline. Do I need, I don't have depth bias, set the pipe, okay. I'll just bind the pipeline, see what happens. And bind pipeline. VK uh, pipeline graphics, bind point graphics. Vertices. Instance count. One instance of three, please. Then we end the render pass. We do this, and we need to get result out of this guy.
Where is it? Oh, okay. We are drawing something in these three corners. So these are the three corners I specified in the shade. I am actually drawing something to the screen. Oh, okay. In a very hacky, duct taped. I'm not even going to call it a system. It, it's just something that is, exists as a affront to all, all that is good, all that I was ever taught. Well, I wasn't really taught much. All that I am. I hate it. But it works. And it's a it's a it's a basis. It's a starting point. It's where everything else eventually comes to being. Okay. Quick drink, and then I'll uh, figure something out. Actually, I will cut it here. I'll just kind of sh uh, say this was the shaders and pipelines bring up, and then I'll do a descriptor set in a separate stream in a short while. I've got to keep these somewhat manageable in length. Still not going to submit anything or commit anything because this is still a abomination. <laughs> 